This is an order coming from the IPO, the leadership. From now henceforth, every IPO, the family protesting in Europe, any part of Africa, our protest will major in the Kenyan embassies. I mean, this is an instruction every IPOB member. This information is coming from the IPOB leadership. Do not ask us what will be the benefit. You have already been going to submit petitions against the extraordinary rendition of our leader, but we are saying this evening, from tomorrow, those who have protests in diaspora, those who can protest in African countries, those who are in the countries where protests are being allowed, every protest should be heading to the Kenyan embassy. From tomorrow, these are specific destination. If we need to sleep there, we have to sleep there. And we need to let Kenya to understand because they think they can go away in this extraordinary rendition, this act of terrorism they committed against the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. So I'm calling all the Afrans on behalf of Mazichike Dosien and the leadership of IPOB. But our destination now for protest, specifically, is at the Kenyan embassy. Anywhere the Kenyan embassy is located around the world and our people can protest, we need everybody to be heading to, pro to the Kenyan embassy to vent our anger. And the diplomatic measures must be taken. If not, we are going to take this fight far, far, far away than what Kenya is thinking. We have always called on them to reason. Harsher actions will be coming on Kenyans. It might even go to a point that Kenyans will not be allowed to walk in Biafra land freely. But first, IPOB members, we are reasonable people, and we are calling now that they know how the extraordinary rendition our leader from Kenya to Nigeria we are also asking the request for his repatriation back to Kenya, where his passport is still lying. And make sure they send him the country where he is holding their international passport. We are not going to talk much on this, but we are kickstarting with the protest. We want every country in Europe to start again, get your permits for those who can get their permits, the instruction is that every one of us that are protesting, even if you are five or six, go to Kenya embassy. The fight continues against the extraordinary rendition of our leader. Number two, I want to draw the attention of those. There are people who want to backslide in supporting the activities of this great movement, both IPO, the family, and the ESN, there is nothing to worry about. What we have to do is we have to continue paying the support, giving our support in what we are doing. Our leader will be very happy. Our leader will be very, very happy that while he was in the enemy's camp, that everything was moving. If we want him to be happy, those who normally go to see him, those who normally go to visit him to tell him that IPOB is in a very good shape, that the struggle he left in the hands of this leadership is moving smoothly and will make higher moves to make sure he's being released from that Janjaweed dungeon. If you are those who knows the assignment that was given to them by our leader, you continue to carry out your assignment and report to those who you were asked to report to. We are not going to tolerate insubordination. We are not going to tolerate they say, they say, they say, they say that, they say this. Remember, this IPOB leadership, we have the power to suspend you from any time we find you want, irrespective of who you are. 
the IPO, the DOS have the power to suspend you, even to dismiss you from IPO. If you think that we do not have that power, we do not possess that power, go and read the IPOB code of conduct. You know sometimes when some people try to grow stubborn, we know we are dealing with difficult people. We are ready to implement those things without looking who you are or what you represent in this struggle. The most important thing is you must respect that command and control. Without the command and control, we will not get where we are today. So for those who are raising funds officially approved by our leader, and you are raising it in support of ESN, go ahead as long as you inform those in the finance, inform the HOD, those who knows who will approve those things. Not everybody in the DOS have the right to approve those things. Keep the HOD informed, keep the people in finance informed, and then you can be able to raise funds to support this strong. That is one thing you have to know. Our people must continue to give that support. Do not say because Mazin Nam the Kano is in the prison for that reason, you do not need to support again. There is a structure. Every money, every, every fund you are, you are supporting this struggle goes to the right places. It goes on legal, goes on welfare, goes on, 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 on a lot of ESN, goes on medical. Therefore, there is no reason for anybody to say, I'm not going to support because Mazin Nandekano is in the jail. We do not accept this kind of... If you do not want to support, please, you can also do not discourage those who want to support. That is the few things I want to touch. But finally, Mazi, this is something every IPO, the principal officer, should understand. The orders of IPOB leadership will always come, either it is announced on Radio Biafra. Either a memo will come from the head of the directorate. For every order, if you are an IPOB principal officer, taking order from people who are online claiming they are hanging around IPOB, and when you take the order, you come in IPOB platforms to initiate that order, you will be removed from IPOB from now onward. The leadership will make sure you are being removed. Those who pick up orders, YouTubers, you take a YouTuber instruction. You take fake prophets instruction and come to put on our timeline. What do you think this leadership is all about? God told you that sit at home must continue, but God never told you when Mazin Nandekano was being detained in Kenya for eight days. We should stop all these people, all these fake prophets who have turned our land into what it is today. They are the problem. The fake prophets in our land with the politicians have turned. They are the people who kept us in this position today because they are part of the deceptive agents moving around in Biafra land claiming what God did not tell them. Nobody can stop us now to talk about it. It is a reality. You want to face it, you face it. But if you want to be an Atagariano, you know, for it, don't say something. We will continue to say it. The fake prophets, most of the pastors, I do not mean all of them, traditional rulers, but especially the fake pastors in our land, who have continued to tell us God told them this, God told them that. They have deceived our people, and we do not want them in this Biafra restoration. They should keep their, if they want to join the struggle, they come with open, with the realities. We do not mean that God did not send messages. But when we see I Nigeria Moka Karaka, stop giving us unnecessary fake messages. What God told you, you are not the only one God talks to. He talks to also millions of people around the world. Therefore, dear friends, we must face the reality. We are in an era you must face the reality. This is not the time of believe, believe. For blessed are those who did not see and believe. We are no more in that era. We are in the era of seeing. We 
we are in the era that we want to see things. I do not mean that God did not exist. I do not mean there are no supernatural powers, but our people have abused it. And that have derailed our people. In this Biafra struggle, we want to be a realist. We want to, we do not want theories. We want practicals, things that are workable. How do we dismantle the Nigerian Janjaweed government? How do we secure our freedom? When you are praying, pray strongly for our freedom. But do not tell us to sleep and pray that God is coming to hand us over the Afra just by praying. We must fight for it. We must all stand up. We must all sponsor it. We must all be partakers. Because when the Afra comes, I am not the only one going to benefit. You are going to benefit. Those who don't want to talk about this thing are going to benefit. Everybody will be free. And not only Mazichina Samuru, not only your prayer. Your ideas, your intelligent gatherings are still required, still needed. Remember in your prayers that our leader is in the hands of the enemy. We will continue to fight till the last man standing. It is either they give us Biafra or we fight or we die fighting for Biafra. Mars, Jonathan, I will say, Mechikotika, I bless you, I bless you who is always on this radio on a daily basis. Some of them who are listening to the radio, they don't know what it takes to wake up, to provide time. Some might know, some might not know. It might be easy for them. For others, they understand the stress, the sacrifice. And that is what we are asking everybody to do. And when we get to a point that we need to listen to our leader or look back and say it, Hello, Onyendu. Do you want us to move forward? We must always remember it's in the hands of the enemies. But one thing is this. This set of leadership. If Mazen Nandekano is not being released. If Mazen Nandekano is not being released. Time will come. It is not by sit at home. Biafra land, our people will overrun the politicians in their homes and their offices, and the world will talk about it, and history will never forget it. Thank you, Mazi Chinebu.